we've got the main securing strap attached to the low friction reinforcement, the hydrostatic release unit, which cuts the raft free, the weak link to which the painter is attached, and then finally the whole unit is secured to the deck through its securing point. So what happens when we sink? Let's take a look inside the HRU and see. Inside we have a sealed chamber with a flexible diaphragm. If the unit submerges, the water exerts pressure all around. This compresses the diaphragm, drawing the securing pin up clear of the blade. You can see that it requires pressure from water. It will not operate just from splashing. You should never need extra lashings in heavy weather. At the designated depth, the blade is completely free and is fired towards the line by a spring. This slices the line, effectively removing it. With the line completely free, the low friction reinforcement separates from the Senhouse slip. The entire securing strap is then completely free, so the raft floats upwards. As the raft continues up, the painter is pulled tight. This is enough to trigger the inflation of the raft. As the raft inflates, the increased buoyancy applies ever more force to the painter, until eventually the weak link breaks. As your vessel slips beneath the surface, a correctly fitted hydrostatic release unit will automatically launch every one of your life rafts. It's always worth checking they're correct. It's shocking how many cases still happen where rafts have not launched due to being incorrectly secured.